After initiating a takedown of the subject, I cannot kneel on the subject's back. New NYPD training video clearly shows officers the what they neck. can and cannot do when cannot taking a suspect sit. into custody. But sometimes that training does not translate in real life, including what happened last month in Rockaway Beach. Yo, stop talking to bro! There's already a law on the books banning officers from putting people in chokeholds. But the city council wants to take things a step further, banning officers from applying pressure or restricting a suspect's diaphragm. It is tough right now to be a police officer. You have to worry if someone who may have taken a shot at you that you are now arresting, if your knee hits their back, you become the criminal. Chief of the department, Terrence Monahan, says these new rules have his officers fighting crime with their hands tied behind their backs. To put it all in perspective, PIX11 turned to law enforcement experts, a retired NYPD sergeant and detective. We're actually giving them a script on how they should behave in a critical incident, and that's just not reasonable. The city council are not police experts. They're not experts in police tactics. But ER doctor Tamara Moy says tactics should not put anyone's life at risk. If you are going to have to do physical restraint, we just have to make sure that we're applying, you know, the least force possible in order to control the situation. And with several major organs in the chest, any pressure could be fatal. The chest is definitely an, an area where uh, multiple serious and even lethal injuries can occur, especially if too much force is applied. Even so, the NYPD argues every encounter is different and a blanket law is not the answer. There is no textbook on taking a person into custody. I've had many guys bigger than me. I said, you're under arrest. They turned around, they put their hands behind their back. And I, I've had other guys who told me they were going to whip my so-and-so. And we got into it and we did our little tango. Now that tango the retired detective is talking about will look very different under this new rule. Another question the NYPD is asking is, what about performing CPR, applying pressure then? The doctor says that's a total different story. CPR is always used to save a life. For now, we're live in lower Manhattan. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.